and uh, scarf wrapped around a stick and said, "Where are we going?" I was I was in radio at that point. That was it. Hey, uh, we got Bob Kelly on the line. Very exciting uh, morning. There's a, there's an energy around this place today. Ah, that uh, ah, it's Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Ah. What's up, boys? I was gonna say I was just gonna babble about something stupid and uh, Anthony save me with your Bob Kelly. Well, but, um, uh, but hi, Bobby. Um, but I broke my knee. Sound. You should have. Uh, but I, when I first heard the magic with you guys before I knew you, was when I heard the first show and they're going back and forth. <laughs> oh. and Anthony does a George Burns impression. All right. <laughs> and I, Shut up. All right. You know we used to roast. You, oh. I it, <laughs> it's, it was our first show and it is horrendous. Wait, why haven't we heard that? You we have. We've we've. We've, we've played it over at XM. We've attempted to get through it numerous we're, times, we're and we can We're up to six can't. minutes in, something the like that. The two of us right, just listen. cringe so badly. Anthony was under his jacket. Literally, he was hiding under his winter coat. It was like it was like an <laughs> Ichabod crane. There was no I head coming out I couldn't watch any. I couldn't look at anybody. I, I right, just... Please listen. It was awful. And we're going to have to do this upright, though. I, I'm more than willing to play the whole first show and take my beating, oh, God, but no. you have to be here... If we have Rich Voss in studio, it's going to be about Rich, and we'll beat him up, so maybe that's <laughs> yeah. not good. Maybe Colin Quinn. We got to get the right people, and we'll play like our first show. It's only a fifteen-minute tape. I was we just playing music at the time. I was just happy to be there. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I was so happy to just be doing radio, and and I'm all like, too. Yeah. There's too much energy there, and yeah, <laughs> I'm like laughing too much. And I like that. It thing. is so <laughs> shut up. You don't. I don't. Do. Where don't, did you find? Don't. Where did you find George Burns in the look, man? It was a roller day. I fit. just. It was it one fit, of those. Because the guy was still alive at the time. He was still alive, and he was in the news that week because I think his like hundredth birthday was coming up, and it was just you know so embarrassing because I had him singing an extreme song, and it, it was just was it just bad, Norton? No, it was good. It was like one of the, he's like I wonder what it'd be like if George Burns, and I said you know what I've also wondered what it would be like if George <laughs> Burns. Um, hey, he, that's what he prefaced it with like yeah. you know I wonder what would happen if did you turn around and put a George Burns wig yes, on? Yes, I had to put the cigar in my <laughs> mouth. On radio. And, it was it was it, it, it was so. the, it was speaking of speaking of <laughs> wait did he see? wait did no. he do a, a a Wilton body and come back up as George Burns? Like, did he do a smoke disappearing and come? Back? Look, this is how bad it is. I can't even listen to you guys mock it, and Patrice well, hasn't even heard it. It just shows you how far we've come. Yeah. You know, there was a time people loved Winger, and oh, uh, it's so embarrassing. Know. He kept saying, "Yeah, right." <laughs> Yeah, right. It was very happy. I like the other right, one. Jimmy. Just happy to be Jimmy, I want to slap you silly. I like the happy. No, it, you it don't. Isn't it uncomfortable Friday or something? You yes. Oh. Yes. I'm sweating. Ugh. Wait, let me ask you. Did you? Was you going... Oof, boy, no, no, this might have been a wrong no. Choice. Opie was Opie was going. Hey, it's Opie's nighttime All attitude. Right, shut up! <laughs> I don't think his voice changed yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was already thirty. <laughs> I can believe I was job, twenty-two. Where'd your, where'd your anger come from? Did you get robbed outside the uh, radio station? Where did our anger come from? From idiots like the both of you, <laughs> just mocking. Hi, everybody. I like uh, I was happy to be there. Ant was happy to be there. What happens is uh, management just beats you down to the point you just. Get to be an angry soul. Yeah. <laughs> an angry soul. And We're, that's where Opie came from. Because it, it, let me ask you, would, would you be Opie now? Yeah, hold on, Bobby. Huh? I'm like, if you had to, yeah. if you had to be, shut up. <laughs> so if you had to be Opie now, would you have, would you be Opie uh, right now? What do you mean? Meaning, was Opie from when you was happy and you just stuck no, with Opie? My, that, see, a lot of people think it's a radio mm -hmm. name. It's not. I got it no. when I was 12. I'm stuck with this name. Oh, okay. Stuck with it. You think I want to, you know, be named Opie at this point in my life? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Imagine being like 55 and people are still calling you Opie. Imagine? Easy. <laughs> hey, what are you crazy? Imagine. What are you crazy? Don't tear down the eighth wall. Oh, God damn, Patrice. <laughs> See, now he's getting cocky. Oh. Hey, Patrice. Oh, come on, no, man. there just, goes his plug. Just plug me. Why was there he goes his plug. Just plug me. That, that's Don't hold that over my head. Of course not. Oh, my, oh my head, you old Opie. <laughs> plug your own. <laughs> Don't. Hey, look, you can't take it out of him financially. The fact that I'm going to be at the Stress Factory this <laughs> oh. week. Let me apologize for a What a whore. Stress Factory tonight through Sunday. Don't let that affect your weekend. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yo. What's up, Bob? Bob Kelly, everyone. Job, man. I gotta tell you, me and Bob, uh, I, I I called Bob the other day just to have him do his Matt Roloff impression. 
And, see, that's the problem. No one knows, and it's the it's the funniest freaking thing. You got to watch Little People, Big World. The, it's the midget guy from uh, yeah yeah Little People, Big World. It, I had him doing. Uh, I, I had him uh, talk to my girlfriend the other day just to do Matt Roloff. Way to follow up, Bob. <laughs> what, what are you? What are you to shy the, today? Yeah, way to take the ball and run with it. I think you know. <laughs> I guess you don't know what a <laughs> setup is. Jeez. It was the food on the way down. Right. <laughs> he was trying to choke it down He's so eating. he could do Matt Olaf. Oh, I was just. I, was, I had a, a steak and cheese calzone with. Yeah. With with cheese, like extra cheese. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, Bob, that was at seven twenty, Bob. Bob, that wasn't a ball. That was a strike right down the middle. You were supposed to hit that one. Yeah, right oh. in the park, well, Bob. Uh, well, Opie, listen, I was too busy building the treehouse in Molly's castle. <laughs> See, this is the stuff that makes me laugh. Where's the treehouse? <laughs> Norton, I want to get a trebuchet and put Norton's head in it. <laughs> See, this this is just funny to people that watch the show. Do your Matt roll off. Well, this is the thing is my wife hates my guts. It's very similar to Vinnie Brand. Well, that does um, sound a little like Vinnie. We'll be at the stretch factory all weekend. And if you want to be... <laughs> that wasn't a bad almost Vinny. That actually did. All you got to do now is you got to put your hand by your ear and go, pardon, 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 he pardon. Here's nothing. <laughs> and he's like talking to a symbol in his ear. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Can I tell you what happened? Yeah, go ahead for Chase. tell you the mental, the mental anguish that just happened. Yeah. No comic likes to do anything on cue. On cue. Oh, I understand Exactly. That. And when he's told to do his midget impression, Bobby's fake dignity yeah. and the fact that he can do a midget impression just yeah. collided. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, I think we set. I think we set you up to fail. I think the Matt Roloff thing's not going to work after all. Let's uh, let's be honest with each other. It makes me laugh and my girlfriend laugh, and that's it. Why bring it to the rest of America? Yeah, Forget just call pride. Me on weekends, Opie. Huh? Just call me on weekends. I'll do it. Yeah. Hey, you're, uh, he's getting uh, the knee surgery again. He popped his knee out again. Ah. <laughs> But, Bob, you're going to get it taken care of, uh, of really good now, right? Officially, right? No, the guy who did it two years ago, apparently... Uh... Did they screw the surgery? They didn't do the surgery right. Oh, well, listen. Well, like everyone, supposed to everyone knows Bob Kelly popped his knee uh, doing the touch football. I didn't hear you, Jimmy. That's I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the look, I know you had a doozy, and you were very happy with it. I didn't hear I was, it, though. I said the surgery didn't go right. They, they were supposed to staple the stomach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, from, you know, from Torgasm, Bob, you know, it was on video and stuff. And you got the surgery, and what happened? They used like an old procedure. He did it. He, the guy did something they did on shoulders. Around, Leeches. Uh, Twenty years ago. Wait, he did shoulder surgery on your knee? Yeah, they they used they did something on a shoulder around twenty years ago, and it worked for nine months, and then it failed, and uh, they stopped doing it. But uh, this guy did it on my knee last uh, two years ago. But uh, apparently, he wasn't a doctor. He stayed at a Holiday Inn Express the night before. <laughs> Yeah, where'd you find this doctor? What's wrong Jesus. with you? I found him on the internet. You did not get your doctor from the internet. Well, it, it, it had like a cool logo. <laughs> it was like a knee, and it like 3D, and it changed. Yeah, to a shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> uh, this just in from Stephen S. from Bayshore. Uh, Bob's appearing at the stretched factory. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not at the stretch factor. No, see, stretch. Tamper Improv. Where are you, sweetie? The Tamper Improv. All Tamper. Okay. Tamper. 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 Anyone else wish we could have had the last five minutes back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it. Uncomfortableness as people. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the hope. <laughs> <laughs> that people listen with. Oh. Bob, we had you penciled in for this. Uh, we're, we were thinking this was going to be the break of the morning. You, you were going to do the Matt Roloff, explain how some yeah. witch yeah, doctor do did shoulder surgery on your knee, and, and we're getting nothing here. Yeah, I'm going to do Matt Roloff on the phone and talk about my knee with Norton and stupid fat <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, It's really going to work out, Opie. Dude, we, we support you, man. We want to see you heal up nice. Can I do the impersonation? <laughs> I, I like the combina uh, conversation between Norton and Fatso, and Patrice is here too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really Bob? Me and Bobby have become arch enemies because he's like, <laughs> I just ha I'm I'm compelled to call him fat. I yeah. can't stop calling Bobby fat because he's just officially fat enough for a fat person to call him. Fat. <laughs> and it's like like he's hey man like jiggly fat. 
He's fat like a like a boxing glove. Like he's like a, <laughs> it's firm fat. It's just it's <laughs> it's George Foreman fat. Like just muscly. When you touch him, nothing goes in. No oh, jiggle. Just. Bobby is I don't know what like uh the blob from the X Men like Bobby has uh Bobby has mutant powers. Yeah. <laughs> I, have the, I have the gay fat stomach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta tell you what also happened with Bob Kelly. Al Dukes doesn't miss a, a beat in the in the back office. He's writing a, he's writing for us here. Bob is plugging a Tampa gig with no affiliate. We're we're on no radio station in Tampa and we're not on XM at this time. I didn't plug it. You guys asked me where I was. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. All right, so I lied. You, you said tamper. <laughs> you did say tamper. <laughs> That's why I didn't say the I didn't say the correct word because that it really doesn't matter. You having a good time down there? No. No. What are you doing? Sitting by the pool like a fat forty-five-year-old divorced woman. <laughs> 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 a little no white friend. stuff on his nose. <laughs> and it's not sunblock. <laughs> oh, I can't take it no more. We need a snare drum in here today. <laughs> yeah. This is really bad. Bang! I actually just bought a one piece. <laughs> yeah, you went old school bathing suit. Did you? Huh? Also known as a tarp. <laughs> Bobby really is shaped like Benny Hill now. <laughs> he was such a he was such a slender guy in his youth. Dude, did you ever see sexy Bobby pictures? Yeah, unbelievable, Bobby sexy. I'm telling you, the old pictures of Bobby. Yeah, just a sexy boy. And it's hey, just come on, those, food. Those, those days are ahead. Bobby, you, you, what, what are you doing? You, you doing all right? As soon as I get my knee fixed, I'll be back to sexy Bobby. That's always the way to do it if you're going to, like, start exercising and getting in shape. Wait till the knee surgery. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> do you hear him? That's the worst time you can do it. Well, when I'm laid up, not moving, like some sort of glacier, then I'm really going to start. The stick to it of this is going to kick in. And he can't get the stomach stable because it's, uh, his, 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 his heart is the Hoover Dam. <laughs> like, I, like I, I do the, hey, you know, you jab, do the, what's up, Bob, jab. Yeah, you got to yeah. kind of jab him in the stomach. And it and it hurts your hand. He's made out of steel. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, hard fat. <laughs> somebody's a bit slow out there. John from Budville, Opie, did you just say shoulder surgery on on your knee on on Bob's knee? Yeah, they did a shoulder yes. surgery thing on his knee. On his knee, yep. When are you going in, Bob? Uh, I gotta go Tuesday. I gotta go Tuesday morning. Uh, do they put you completely under? I have to. Yeah, they got to pull me. Yeah, I think it's an uh, hour and a half surgery. I thought maybe some kind of local, you know, they just jab your knee with some needles and you're awake and well, Bobby's, they're talking to you now. They put you right out. Yeah. It's a bit crazy, too. You're still on uh, traveling virus and stuff, right? Yeah, I have two and a half weeks to get my, my knee back so I can walk. Well, that's right. great. Hobbling, that, Bob. He's going to wail me out there. Hey, Jimmy, why don't you give away tickets to the Opie and Anthony Comedy Tour? Okay. If you call up. Uh, if you're the third caller, what you do is you get a stick to smash Bob's knee with as he fucking... Oh, oh <laughs> God. <laughs> when, well, at least when, you left the G off of ing. <laughs> <laughs> when bombing with an improv, get it dumped. <laughs> it's going nowhere anyway. Uh, now, we got eight or nine of the comedians you love from the show playing Jones Beach, June 16th. That's the next date. Yeah, so... We uh, got the ONA Village with karaoke and I think a video confessional booth and all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah, Patrice, myself, uh, Bobby Kelly, of course, Stephen Lynch is on that show. Uh, they're great shows, man. Louis C.K., Otto and George. And, uh, you know, if you call up right now, you get free tickets for Jones Beach June 16th. And uh, go to Virus Tour on MySpace for all the info. Yes. All right. Uh, Bobby, thanks. Have fun right, in Tampa. See right. you when you get back, bro. Ah, right. ah. So we'll give away the uh, the tickets to the show. Yeah. Poor uh, dumb Bob is doing his leg surgery again. I feel bad, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, he's just talking. To, he, this has to be the worst thing in his life. This, I tease him about his fat, but it's just sad. You see it in his eyes. Yeah. Bobby looks like the inside of a clogged artery. Like. <laughs> <laughs> And he's constantly talking about losing weight. He's constantly. Done, dude. It's hard to motivate about man. eating right and exercising. And then obviously he's done none of that because he comes in and he's bigger than he was the last time. Yeah. Well, Bob, uh, I, I feel bad now because every time I see a fat bald guy with a goatee, I actually go, "Hey, Bobby." Always. <laughs> it's a, it's a running joke with myself. <laughs> I see now.